Um, my name is Rebecca and I'm going to be showing you how to geometry and this is going to be rotation, reflection, translation and dilation. So we have the translation. So translation is just moving the object around on your axes. So the translation is three. So we're going to move three to the right. So this is your left and right. So it'll be going this way. Now so for Q, move it three to the right, which will be zero one. You always start with your X axis first and then Y axis second. R will be zero six moving this way. I mean, S will be 3, 10, and T will be 0, 5. So that's how you do translation. Next is reflection, so you just reflect it over where they say. In this case, they say the, e the X axis. So it'll be over this line here. So you want to go... R is 1, 2, 3, away from the x-axis, you go 3 up from the x-axis, you go 1, 2, 3, so R will be there, Q will be 1, 2, 3, behind R, so 1, 2, 3, and then 1 over this way, so Q will be there, P, S, sorry, is going, is 1, Two, three, away from the X. So you go three up. One, two, three. P will be in line with this, but three up. So one, two, three. And that is how you do a reflection. Next is rotation, which is just rotating it around the origin, which is the center. So it'll be 180. So then all you do is you take it, say S is on the X, is closer to the X axis, we go one away from the X axis, we get closer, then you go on the other side, so over here, and you go one up um, from it. But in this case it's one, two, three away from the Y, so you go one, two, three, and one up, so we just there. Yeah. So then the coordinates will be... Negative three, no, sorry, three, two, one, and you go so forth down the list. Guys, get one. Next one is dilation, which is just a fancy word for enlargement. So you just enlarge it by the scale factor of how much they are saying through at the moment. If it is a fraction, say one half, then you would divide it by two. Or if it was one quarter, you'd divide it by four. And so on. So it's three, so it'll be time. So zero times three is zero. Zero times negative three is negative nine. Three times zero is zero. And what negative one times three is negative three. Negative three times three is negative nine. Negative one times three is negative three. If the number over here is positive, the number at the end of the time you divide by will be positive. If the number over here is over here is negative, then the end number that you've divided or times will be negative. Thanks for watching, and that's how you do geometry, location, reflection, translation, and dilation. Thanks.